Hey guys, Nika coming at you with another garden update. We're in the last days of summer and pickings are kind of getting slim. So welcome to my channel. My name's Nika. Thank you for joining me. Let's take a look at this garden update. So guys, check it out. I left this timer on while I went on vacation and it kept my garden alive. So I'm not a prisoner to my garden. And look, I have it all strong in my pots. And it's keeping them watered while I'm gone. And it did a good job. So, I have some broccoli growing here. We're gonna to have to harvest this and cook something with this broccoli. But it's doing really good. I planted more, started some more seed. We're gonna get some more broccoli growing here for the fall. And then I have my peas. They're actually giving me peas on these branches look give me some peas it's snapping back a little bit it kind of took a little turn for the worse because i was gone didn't really care for the soaker system i have salary this is the fourth year of this salary it just keeps giving i always have salary grow so wild in my garden and then we have carrots, quite a few carrots, and it's seeding, making flowers, seeding up. I'm going to harvest the seed so I can plant it for the fall. Look at how big that carrot is in there. Look at that. Let's just pull it. Ooh, those are some good carrots. Look at there. We got some good carrots going. Yum. Those look delish. We'll make something with those tonight. Mm. Those are good slicers. Those are good slicers there. So we got carrots. We're going to have to plant some more for the fall. I did plant one container with carrots, but they haven't started sprouting yet. Then I have collard greens. I need to pick these. These are mature, so we're going to have to cook these. I'm going to plant, I'm going to cook these with the kale and I have some broccoli greens. They're so good. They go with almost anything. So we're going to cook these. I have some strawberries coming through. They are so plush. These strawberries are, and I'm getting a lot of fruit, a lot of fruit out of these strawberries. So it's strawberry season again, guys. And then look at my, take a look at my sunflowers. They're all starting to turn into seed. So I'll probably be getting a lot of birds around. Lots of sunflowers, guys. They're very tall. I've seen them taller, though, so I think they have a little ways to go. But I just think they're so neat, especially when I can see the birds eating the sunflowers. Then I just harvested a bunch of tomatoes, but these tomatoes are doing really good. Look how tall they are. They have to be a good seven feet tall. And some of them are just drooping over. Getting a lot of tomatoes, guys. I have mint. My mint starting to seed. Lots of bees. Look at that. Lots of bees in here. That's an odd bee right there. But when this flowers, it attracts a lot of bees. Look at there. There's one right there. I love watching them. They're pollinating. And I have some ginger. We're going to be picking this ginger. Making tea out of the roots and the leaves. Tastes so good. It smells so good. And then we have more mint and I have 
These are those onions. I just planted them. You can buy these in the grocery store for like three for a dollar. Plant them outside. You can plant them outside and you have green onions all year round. They don't stop. And look how thick those are. Just one stem is enough for one dinner. So I will have onions. Look how thick these roots are. Look at that. They started out so scraggly and look, my yard is changing. I um, am getting a lot of shade in my yard. I have two trees that are just getting bigger and bigger. And um, so it's hard to find sunny spots in my yard now. I have some okra. I'm gonna have to start bringing a stool out here to harvest okra and I also planted some probably about a month ago I planted some seed so there's more coming up that's how you want to do okra plant it every like month until September and you'll get okra until it freezes and my squash didn't make it but I'm going to use the dirt these are blueberries I read somewhere that they don't do well unless you plant two. They like to grow in pairs. So I'm going to get another one next year and put it in this pot. Then I have potatoes that are coming up. I have potatoes. Here's my cucumbers. And I think those squash bugs are starting to take over my cucumbers. Look. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to have to get him off of there. Get off of there. Ick. I think they're tearing up my cucumbers. But these are my cucumbers, guys. Here's my cucumbers. I have some new ones coming up. There's still cucumbers forming. Right there, I'm getting new ones. I just harvested a bunch. Take a look. So my cucumbers are still doing good. They're doing good over here, away from the base. And they're starting to grow up this trellis. But I've been eating cucumbers all summer. And then I have sweet potatoes. They're draping over. Getting a lot of those. I have potatoes. These are just some regular potatoes. I'm gonna have to harvest these. So let me pull this. This doesn't belong in there. Let's just pull that out. I don't even know what that is. Looks like a tree. But these have already flowered. These potatoes have already flowered. They're ready for harvest. And then I'm gonna plant some more. Then I have just regular potatoes. I'm ready to harvest these. So they've already flowered. They're ready to go. I have radishes. I'm getting some down here. Getting some radishes in here. They're pretty big. I have all kinds of peppers. These are Asian peppers and Cajun peppers that we need to cook with. These peppers really like this pot, this spot. They like it here. Doing really good. And again, I have some broccoli I need to harvest. Just a little more broccoli to harvest. And I have some more broccoli that's coming up. I planted this from seed. Looks like it's gonna do good this fall. So guys, I got a lot of little mini bell peppers. Aren't those just cute? Look how cute they are. I've been cooking with these, just eating them too. They're so delicious. And here's my kale plant. I've been using this for soup, salads, smoothies. 
and it just keeps getting bigger. It looks like a big dome. We'll see how long I have this. It's supposed to be a cool weather plant, so I'm expecting we'll have it in the fall, maybe early December. I'm so interested to see how long this is going to last. And I have parsley. Here I have curly parsley and flat parsley. I have some sage and oregano and basil. I have all kinds of herbs. They're doing really good. I have chives. And I have this big rosemary plant. This thing is going insane in this pot, but I'm not going to put it in another pot. This is as much as I can handle with rosemary. Talk about evergreen, and it smells so good when you water it. So look at all this celery seed, guys. I am ready to pick these. Some of these are actually turning dark, almost blackish. And... I'm just going to chop these down today and throw them in a bag and whatever settles at the bottom that's what I'm going to keep. So today I am cutting these celery seed and look at how thick the celery is. It's time. Look how thick this celery is. It's time to clip this down and get it ready for the winter. Celery will stay green all year round. You always have celery. It grows so wild in my yard. So it's time to pick this celery and cultivate the seeds. Look, my potato plant is starting to flower. And then I bet you that's a purple one right there. Those are purple potatoes, I'm positive. And we have a bee in there. Or a hornet. I don't know what that is. But my potatoes are doing really good. Thanks for joining me, guys. That's my garden update for August 26th. It's really not a whole lot left. But there's enough. A lot of tomatoes and a few cucumbers. I have a lot of kale and herbs and spices. And I have a potato harvest coming. So I want to thank you for joining me. We'll see you on the next video, guys. Have a good evening. Bye.